Hi, this is Ruby with NAFF TV. So honored to be here with Sam and Amber Jager with their film, Take Me Home, and I just screened it about an hour ago, and I love it. And I was wondering if you might have been a couple in real life when I saw this film, because there's just so much energy between the two of you, and you made my dreams come true. You are, so have you, my question first is, have you ever worked together on a film um, as love interests, or is this your first one? Um, this is our first our one first as one. as a, a, a love interest. Mm -hmm. Because you can't hide a love like ours. No, that's really right. Can't. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I Thank like you. that. Mm -hmm. Nashville songwriting. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I we actually went to college together back in the day, and uh, we had just kind of graduated as best friends, and and joked about how convenient it would be to fall in love, and then uh, a few years later, we actually fell in love. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew that when I wrote this. Um, uh, I, I, I've written and produced several uh, short films, and I've had Amber, um, been fortunate to have her in most of them. And, As a love uh, interest of his best friend. Ooh. Oh, yes, that's yes. true. Yeah, you have played a love interest <laughs> to my best friend, which is so perverse that I would write that. But, um, but you know, uh, I just knew that I had this really talented ace up my sleeve, which was my wife, and I, um, and I basically wrote Take Me Home around the talent that I knew that I had, you know, uh, living in the home with me mm -hmm. so well I will say there's definitely talent there so I can see you're just a very lucky man I also saw some talent in you that's even more and above than I even thought um, photographer you want to add that to your list of things to do well you know yeah I do play a photographer in the film it's funny because I uh, I had so many jobs that I, I tried to do on this movie I, I wrote and directed and and acted in it, and I wish I'd become a better photographer in the process, but I was uh, way too busy trying to do the other th three things that, uh, I think I'm a pretty crap photographer, but with digital, you can, all you need, you can, you can shoot 500 shots, and if you get one, that's sure. good. So I just hold on and I share those with people. Um, but she's definitely impressed with out of the 4,000 shots I take, I, you know, the two that I show her are pretty oh, good. Like, I'm, yes, yeah, spellbound. Thank spell you. Spellbound I am. Thank mm -hmm. you. Wow, good woman, good woman. Well, I did see your, your name listed also credited with photography uh, for the opening. Oh, yeah, that's right. Those are some of the pictures I guess I did take. Good mm -hmm. eye. Look at you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which I have to say is actually a, a lot of those pictures would be uh, same when I, well, when you live in California, you can be in the most beautiful places within an hour and so we get to take little trips here and there and just over the course of a f couple years actually um, just us taking weekend trips Sam would be snapping shots of anything mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. um, always would take me home in mind mm -hmm. which I was always very impressed that yeah <laughs> was always working yeah, <laughs> yeah well it def I mean it definitely shows the photography in the whole film is what one of the big things that caught my eye um, so I know that Amber is one of the uh, inspirations for this film can you tell me about uh, generally how do you how you came up with this sure well you know I, I we lived in New York in uh, about 2000 and I had uh, gotten rid of I had gotten tired of of being um, poor and cold, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to be poor. Mm -hmm. So I drove to Los Angeles with my buddy Mike, and we hitched up a rider truck and we drove across the country. And uh, I just felt like our country just has so much beauty to it. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, in Hollywood, they often tell a story about Hollywood or New York, you know. And I, I really felt like there's this huge. Uh, vast land that is so beautiful that people aren't really showing or telling about and I wanted to I felt like it would be a perfect place for a story mm -hmm. so I just came up with the concept uh, in the midst of writing a very complicated screenplay to to this seemed like a very simple story that I could when and somebody asked what it's about I could simply say it's a woman who gets into a cab and drives across the continent mm -hmm. and within that there's a lot of different places you can go so that's kind of where I, I went with it. Speaking of places that don't always get written about, Nashville, Tennessee, and we are actually on the Gibson bus here at Nashville Film Festival. So have you ever been to Nashville? Is this your first time? This is my first. Is this your first time? Well, it's my first time to actually stay in Nashville. I've driven through, talking about road trips, I've definitely taken a couple cross cross-country trips. And actually taking the southern route has always been my actually my favorite everybody I know always likes to drive you know 70 and up north but I love driving through Tennessee and through Texas and um, 
we were just talking on the way here, you know, to the bus. Yeah. Um, just how lush and beautiful everything is here, yeah. and I, I was just I was just reminded about by just really the beauty, the expanse, and the beauty yeah. of Nashville. Yeah, I think that really connects well with your film as well. So, everyone, make sure you see "Take Me Home." I've already twittered and Facebooked about it. So, uh, here we are with Sam and Amber. So glad you came. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thanks Thank for having you. us.